Oh, well, hello everyone. Welcome back to Cray Soldiers. So, when we last left off, there was a, uh, a battle in the, uh, the glass wedge. Uh, so the, the glass wedge rebels and the yellows attacked the, the glass wedge finally. And, um, well, Seems like there's been quite a huge boss in general. Interestingly enough, the White Greys attacked as well. Which makes you wonder, why did the Pinks attack their own allies? Or at least tired from guys that attack their own allies? And well, um, I don't quite know yet. It's a little strange. They just told the like ways to just attack anything that moved. But that's not the most shocking thing. Look at this wall. The, yeah, the pinks just made this giant wall and they're constructing it. And, and there's George for there, I don't know what that's all about. You'll notice that um there are some glass words over here. And uh, what the hell happened over there? And so, um, there has, after the attack, it appears that the class words are retreating with some of them. The rest of them have um, been moved away after the ones that were knocked out were transported somewhere, and the ones that weren't knocked out, I think over there, got convinced to just go the easy way and just not fight. Because the last thing that the yellows wanted at this point was just more unnecessary conflict. So the pinks are now transporting everything that they can get to their, wherever their little base is, wherever the town is. And I have no idea where it is. They're already setting up a and a camp. Which they will likely load of all sorts of random garbage that they stole. A like ways on no, taking stuff and warning, so I'm guessing this is just like an organized thing in a way. Kind of fascinating how organized the pinks got. <laughs> It'll disappear for a while, and then all of a sudden they're here, they're everywhere. And it's all according to their plan. That, that, that's the one consistent thing. It's all going according to plan. So, other news. Well, we actually have uh, the yellows talking with some of the white, the, the last red heads. They're reasoning a little bit, they're not immediately fighting because it doesn't seem necessary now that they've technically defeated them. And they are still kind of aware the fact that they got betrayed. The, the guys over there have no idea, probably. And they're just sitting you know, here, just doing what's supposed to be their job. There's still all this area that we have yet to expand upon. Because, you know. Yeah, get rid of this. Old battle. Right. The yellows are gonna get a really nice kingdom soon. And I'm pretty proud of how far they've come. The workouts, they're probably gonna make this tower a little bigger just so you can see further. The well tree is blooming perfectly without any real problems. There's the map. A massive city. That'll be worth looking into. And there's still the science still telling yellows about the fact that the pinks are just insane. They're evil. You, you wouldn't think they'd be that evil with that color, but they're, they're freaking they're evil. Because once they got that guy in charge, they, they've just gone insane. They were supposed to be defeated in Season 0, but Season 0 got cancelled, so... There's season one's problem now. 
It's not just one for me. This entire thing is mostly just a little catch up until the next major plot development happens. But, um, a few other things are going around. So the Queens still haven't taken back their home yet, I think. Maybe they have. Oh, they have. Uh, I actually kind of forgot that happened. We're gonna have to release these guys soon. It's been a while. It's been a couple of months since I've actually recorded the next one. It's this interesting pink line. I don't know why that's there. That's worrying. And the uh, oranges who actually withstood their attack pretty well. They didn't even get into their base, or the, the inner halls, the mines, I should say. And yes, I know I've been completely ignoring the colors that are clearly marked. I promise, we're almost there. We'll get to them very soon. Anyone in the library? I mean, there's probably people in the, there are people in the library, but anyone going to second floor? But do we not have any well for the second floor anymore? That's a while on this. It wasn't that long, but it's still. I mean, it wasn't that long, but still. This is a nice second floor. I mean, it's massive for uh, Crazy Soldiers. It's, ah, there we go. Appreciation, finally. I've been validated. <laughs> That's nice. Wait. Crap, how do I get out of here? Um. I was never in here. And let's check up on the uh, scoundrel himself. The deviant. Been here. Don't think I forgot what you did. I know what you've done. I know what you will do, and I know what you're capable of. You're not getting out of there. <laughs> and um, no. Oh, something is telling me that I have to have something happen. So um. Um, I mean, they kind of just tell me what to do. They don't really give me any new options other than them. Um, well, the yellows have been hearing about, but they're, they're not just hearing about, more hearing things under the, the sand. That they're hearing things under there. I don't know what it is, but it's something more apparent in their minds, which, um, down here, the mind is still going strong, and there's the... That's weird. We're just... There you go. That's better. Um, they're still mining away. I don't know what to say, really, about that. I don't know. Uh, wait, dang. Um. Oh yeah! One final thing to note. One. The white class levels will be... What are you... Oh, right. Oh, uh, unfitting battle music, but sure. You know what? I want to see. Can these three fight the odds? But these four, the, uh, it seems like they're all rebels fighting the bad guys. They're actually fighting back the white grays. 
surprisingly well, in fact. But there's one. One down. Although, it's when they all group together, that's when things start going badly. I kind of want to help for the glass lead, so... I'll give this guy a single piece of clay. You know, to help give him some fighting chance. Never mind. Wait. Wait. Maybe he was just helpless all along. Come on. Oh, okay, okay, ten. Can ten win? Surely ten of them can win. <laughs> hey, people, it's not pleasant. Nope. This is... this turned out about as well as, um... I don't know what, but... I think go well. Oh, that guy got a stick or something. Um... Stop tabbing me out. I don't know why it does that so... We're not supposed to be in here. I should kill you. There we go. It is a nice camp though. And I get the chance to look at it again. Sure, it must be even nicer knowing that they, uh, like ways have effectively stolen it. Although, not quite fair considering the fact that, um, that would imply that the, uh, the wet grass soldiers actually, or, or the rebels, that uh, is, actually had the full force defending. They didn't. That wasn't even close to it. The white like, gracious attacked because they were opportunistic. They saw an opportunity and they took it. So of course they won. They, they had the numbers advantage. Doesn't matter who had the fancier gun, they had the bigger army, so they could withstand the bullet. Quite interesting. The mob mentality that works so well for them. wonder... How much did they pay the, the pinks? How much did they pay to get the like ways to work for them? It's kind of curious, although... Actually, maybe I shouldn't be doubting things so much. I'm... Probably not in the uh, position to question things right now. But... Uh, one final thing of note. Before we continue, because this is just the aftermath of the battle. This isn't a uh, real proper story addition to be like the biggest addition ever. Although I have a feeling the next chapter is going to be pretty special. I don't know why, I just get that feeling. But, um... One other thing is that, well... Despite what it may seem like, the pinks might not be... ...alone. 